Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor, Jim Pytel, and today we'll learn to adjust base frequency, maximum frequency, and change volts per hertz profile on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. This lecture is predicated on the assumption the viewers watch the installing a remote speed potentiometer on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel. If you haven't watched this lecture yet, only dimly recall its contents, please take the time to do so now. Additionally, since we'll be dealing with this particular manufacturer's parameter programming process and navigation within this motor drive's decision tree, it may help to download the associated data sheet and or user manual. In the previous application example featuring the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive, we installed an external speed potentiometer and learned to monitor and change rotational direction. Since someone may have diddled with the drive in your absence, all eyes should be focused on your lazy lab partner right now. Let's ensure we're at the same start state by initializing the drive to a default state, clearing any errors, and programming the drive to recognize both the motor and external speed potentiometer. We'll initialize the drive to a default state and clear any errors using the initialization and protection parameter B084. Then we'll program it to recognize a 200 watt motor with a nominal rotational speed of 1800 RPM using the motor settings parameters H003 and H004. Finally, we'll program the drive to recognize an external speed potentiometer input using extended function parameter A001. This start state establishes a 60 Hz base frequency, a 60 Hz maximum frequency, forward default rotation, a linear volts per hertz ratio, a 10 second linear acceleration time, and a 10 second linear deceleration time, among other properties. This motor drive is now ready for today's activities. Let's now learn to display the current entry and change the base and maximum frequency. Extended function parameter A003, base frequency, is user adjustable from 30 to the current maximum frequency, entry A004, currently set at the default 60 Hz. Extended function parameter A004, maximum frequency, is user adjustable from 30 to 400 Hz. The default maximum frequency is 60 Hz. Let's keep the base frequency at the default setting of 60 Hz and change the maximum frequency to 100 Hz. Navigate to parameter A004, Maximum Frequency. Select Mode. Increment from the default 60 Hz to 100 Hz, then select Enter to save it. This motor drive has now been programmed to scale the 0 to 10 volt analog voltage input of the external speed potentiometer from 0 to 100 Hz in 10 Hz per volt divisions. We'll operate this motor with parameter D001, the output frequency monitor being displayed. Note the LED above the frequency reference knob in the digital operator group is dark, indicating that this direct means of operation is no longer an option and the external speed potentiometer is now running the show. To operate this motor drive, an operator will position the external speed potentiometer knob all the way counterclockwise, corresponding to minimum analog voltage input and minimum excitation frequency, and pressing run. Note the run LED indicates the motor is in operation, but it's not moving. As an operator repositions the external speed potentiometer clockwise, the analog voltage input signal increases and the motor drive increases applied excitation frequency. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. When an operator pegs the external speed potentiometer all the way clockwise, corresponding to a maximum analog voltage input and the recently changed maximum frequency of 100 Hz, the motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. When an operator dials the external speed potentiometer knob halfway, the motor decelerates to this new speed and stabilizes. When an operator presses stop, the motor decelerates and turns off. Note the run LED turns off after the controlled deceleration period has ended. When an operator presses run while the external speed potentiometer knob is halfway, the motor drive increases applied frequency to roughly 50-ish hertz. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. When an operator presses stop, the motor decelerates and turns off. When an operator presses run when the external speed potentiometer knob is pegged fully clockwise, the motor drive increases applied frequency to the permissible maximum of 100 Hz. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. When an operator presses stop, the motor decelerates and turns off. Given the default state establishes a linear volts per hertz ratio, we should be able to examine the output voltage at different frequencies. While the motor drive is running, one can navigate to and display various operational parameters. 
will initiate operation with parameter D001, the output frequency monitor being displayed. Let's set the motor drive to an excitation frequency of 6 Hz, or 10% of base frequency of 60 Hz. When speed stabilizes, we can navigate to parameter D013, output voltage monitor, and find the motor drive is applying roughly 10% of the available line-to-line -line voltage. When we return to display parameter D001, the output frequency monitor, we can readjust it to provide a 12 Hz excitation frequency, or 20% of the base frequency of 60 Hz. When speed stabilizes, we can navigate back to parameter D013, output voltage monitor, and find the motor drive is applying roughly 20% of the available line-to-line -line voltage. As we'd expect, applied voltage as a function of frequency appears to be linear. We can perform the same inspection at various points inside the 0 to 100 Hz excitation frequency range to find linearly increasing applied voltage up to the base frequency of 60 Hz, beyond which applied voltage flatlines at 100%. For example, at an excitation frequency of 70 Hz, we find parameter D013, output voltage monitor, to be roughly 100% of the available line-to-line -line voltage. Really, there are only two key data points that define the simple linear volts per Hz profile namely base frequency, entry A003, and maximum frequency, A004. From zero to base frequency, applied voltage is linearly proportional. Beyond base up to maximum frequency, applied voltage flatlines at 100%. When base is 60 Hz and the maximum is 100 Hz, note the external speed potentiometer 0 to 10 volt analog voltage input is scaled to represent the 0 to 100 Hz range. If one reduced maximum frequency also to 60 Hz, this doesn't really change the performance all that much, besides limiting maximum speed. As previously, from zero to base frequency, applied voltage would be linearly proportional. Given base frequency happens to be maximum frequency, applied voltage would cease to increase, as would frequency. Really, the only difference between this and our previous implementation is that the external speed potentiometer's zero to 10 volt analog voltage input would now be automatically scaled to represent only 0 to 60 Hz range. Let's see if this is the truth. Navigate to parameter A004, maximum frequency. Select mode, decrement from the previously saved 100 Hz back to 60 Hz, then select enter to save it. This motor drive has now been programmed to scale the 0 to 10 volt analog voltage input of the external speed potentiometer from 0 to 60 Hz in 6 Hz per volt divisions. When we start the motor with the external speed potentiometer pegged fully clockwise, excitation frequency ramps up to only 60 Hz this time, as we'd expect. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. While the motor is running, we can navigate to parameter D013, output voltage monitor, and find the motor drive is applying roughly 100% of the available line-to-line -line voltage. When we return to display parameter D001, the output frequency monitor, we can readjust it to provide a 48 Hz excitation frequency, or 80% of the base frequency of 60 Hz. When speed stabilizes, we can navigate back to parameter D013, output voltage monitor, and find the motor drive is applying roughly 80% of the available line-to-line -line voltage. As we'd expect, applied voltage as a function of frequency appears to be linear, only this time, excitation frequency is limited inside the range 0 to 60 Hz. This particular motor drive is not limited to solely linear volts per hertz profiles. The Omron 3G 3JX AE004 has available three standard profiles. However, one of the profiles can be altered to include a manual torque boost, so I'm saying it's technically got four volts per hertz profiles. The first volts per hertz profile is the simple linear volts per hertz profile we just examined. The other two are called reduced torque and special reduced torque. These profiles aren't really user customizable and are again defined by two points, base and maximum frequency. The transition point for the special reduced torque curve is a function of base frequency being continuously fixed at 10% of the current base frequency. To change among the available volts per hertz profile, an operator needs to change extended function parameter A044. The volts per hertz characteristic selection has available three options. 0, 0, the default selection, is constant torque. This is the linear volts per hertz ratio. 0, 1 is the reduced torque profile. Selection 0, 6 is the special reduced torque function. The fourth volts per hertz profile is actually a user customizable modification of the linear volts per hertz profile called the manual torque boost function. The manual torque boost function 
allows an operator to manually select a steeper initial applied voltage slope at lower excitation frequencies for the purposes of establishing an initial burst of current at low speeds. To enable manual torque boost, an operator needs to check three parameters. Extended function parameter, A041. Torque boost selection has two options, 00, zero the default state, manual, and 01, automatic. Extended function parameter, A042, manual torque boost voltage is user adjustable from zero to plus 20%. When the setting is at 0%, you've effectively got an unmodified, purely linear volts per hertz profile. When you increase this setting, you effectively put a little dual slope knee in the volts per hertz profile. Extended function parameter A043, manual torque boost frequency, is user adjustable from zero to 50% of base frequency. This is the frequency at which the knee in the dual slope occurs. Let's enable the torque boost function and call it a day. Leave extended function parameter A041, torque boost in the default 00, zero manual state. Navigate to extended function parameter, A042, manual torque boost voltage. Select mode, increment to plus 20%. Then select enter to save it. Navigate to extended function parameter, A043, manual torque boost frequency. Select mode, increment it to 30% of base or 18 Hertz and select enter to save it. When we start the motor drive with parameter D001 displayed, the output frequency monitor, we can adjust the speed potentiometer to provide an 18 hertz excitation frequency. This is our programmed manual torque boost frequency. When speed stabilizes, we can navigate to parameter D013 output voltage monitor and find the motor drive is applying roughly 50% of the available line to line voltage. If this motor drive was still using the linear volts per hertz profile without the torque boost modification, we'd ordinarily expect only 30% of available line to line voltage given an excitation frequency of 30% of base. I think this is a pretty cool feature, as should you. Alright, that's about it for this quick applications exercise. We learned to change base and maximum frequency, as well as change volts per hertz profiles on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. We learned this particular motor drive has available three volts per hertz profiles, linear, reduced torque, and special reduced torque, as well as a fourth secret bonus torque boost function. But remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive at home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your lazy lab partner about this resource, and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.